Hello and welcome to this tutorial on point-to-point -point protocol authentication. Now, PPP can be enabled to use authentication just like some of the other protocols we've discussed. And the purpose here is to validate the far end router to make sure this is a legitimate device we're talking to. Now, in terms of timing, the authentication phase happens as part of LCP after the configuration and the parameters have been negotiated between the two devices. And we're going to look at our two options for enabling PPP authentication. We can use PAP or we can use CHAP. And in fact, if we want to, we can configure our routers to use both of them. So let's take a look at those. We'll begin with PAP, which stands for Password Authentication Protocol. And this is a very basic approach to authenticating two devices. Quite simply, a router is going to send a username and password across the link to the other router. So here, router B sends password and username over to router A. Now router A is going to have that password and username configured in its configuration. So quite simply, it'll just compare the two, and if it's correct, if they match, then router B is authenticated. Okay, so it seems pretty straightforward, and it's relatively simple. However, there's a major flaw with PAP. And that is, it uses clear text in order to transmit that username and password. So there's no encryption involved with PAP. And that's not good. It's not very secure. If you need something very quick and simple on your network, you're free to use PAP. But there's another method we can use, and that's going to lead us into CHAP. And CHAP has some features to address the flaws with PAP. Now CHAP, which stands for Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol, is the preferred method to authentication with PPP. It's a little more complicated, but it's more secure. And it works like this. Let's say router A wants to authenticate router B. So it'll send a random number, a random value, over to router B. Now router B is configured with a password, and in fact the identical password is also configured on router A. That password is never sent across the link. It's only locally configured. So when router B receives that number, that random value, it's going to take that number along with the secret password it has configured on it, and it's going to put both of those into the MD5 hash algorithm. It's going to then come up with a new value, and it sends it back to router A. Now when router A receives this, it's going to go ahead and also run with that original value it sent across. It's going to use that as well as its locally configured password, which should be the same, that's on router B, and it's going to put those into the same MD5 hash algorithm. It will as well get a result by from doing that, and it's going to compare the two results, the, the value it calculated and also the value that router B calculated. If those two values match, then they are authenticated. And both routers can do this to each other. So this way, no private information is ever sent across the link. That password never sees the light of day. So this is a much more secure method to allowing these two routers to authenticate each other. And this is the one, if you're going to choose a method for authentication, this is the one to use. OK, so let's summarize what we covered. Point-to-point -point protocol does support authentication, and we have two ways to enact it. The first one is PAP, where we send a username and password across the serial link in clear text. And because of that, it's not very secure. The better method is CHAP, where we send a value across the link. It's computed using a secret password, run through a hash algorithm, and then it's sent back to the originating router where it's compared. And if they're the same, then the router is authenticated. So it's much more secure. We're using the MD5 hash algorithm, and the passwords are never sent across the link. OK, so we're going to cover the configuration details in a dedicated tutorial for all of the point-to-point -point protocol configuration tasks. So check that one out when you're ready. And that's it. That is point-to-point -point protocol authentication. Thanks for watching.